Hello again and welcome back to some more Mathlicious Maths. Now we've been doing systems of linear equations and we're going to apply it to a real situation. Um, so first of all you need to know what income means. Well income is the amount of money, I put dollar sign there for it, for coming into a business. And the expenses is the amount of money you spend to run your business. And what we're going to end up when we've got our linear system is is this that this would be the income line and this is going to be the expenses line which I've already drawn on. But the question we're doing is this. The students have decided to sell boxes of uh, greeting cards for a charity. Their expenses are that it costs $2 to make each box of cards. But there's a startup fee of $40. It doesn't uh, explain what the startup fee is. Maybe it's some materials, a one-off payment that they need to do uh, to get the materials of what they're going to make with the cards. Um, and then each box of cards is going to sell for $6. So first of all, you have to decide what X and what Y is going to be, or the input and the output, or the independent variable and the dependent variable. So you know the drill, stop the video, write down what you think it is, then come back, and when you're ready, press go, and we'll say the right answer. So here you are back again. Well, the X is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, the number be the, the boxes of the boxes of cards. So you've got one box, two box, three box, four box. And depending what you how many boxes you sell, the then that is how much money you make. So the dependent one is <coughs> the amount of money. So that means that you can then label your axes. So we can label the axes here is, and actually what we're counting is, um, let's put it here, boxes of cards sold. It doesn't matter if you make them, if you don't sell them, then you're gonna get no money. So it's actually the boxes of cards sold. Let's change that there. Then this is the amount of money. And as we've got two lines on here, one is measuring the money in terms of the income coming in, and the other one's measuring the money as in terms of the expenses. So then, I want you to try and write in words and turn into an equation what the income is going to be, and then what the expense is, how you would express it in words, and then turn that into an equation. So you know the drill, stop the video, have a go, when you're ready, press go, and see if you match up with me. Okay, you're pressing go because you're ready to go. Okay, so in words for the income one, the income is how much money is coming into the business. So it's the money you get when you are selling the cards. So the income is equal to the <coughs> cost of one box times the number of cards. So it's the number of boxes sold times what we would call is the unit price, the cost per box. And that would work it out for us. So um, the cost per box we know is uh, six, so that's my constant. Number of boxes sold is going to be varying, which is my x, so that's six x. Uh, we said the y would be the amount of money. Income is measured in money. So then we get y equals 6x. Okay, for our expenses. So I know I'm working at expenses, so we'll call it expenses equal. So the expenses is made up of two parts. There's this part for each box, and there's the startup fee. So this time again, it's a uh, number of boxes. Um, and then you're going to have to times it by, um, what was it, uh, the cost per box, and then, put that, make that a bit bigger, and then we're going to add a startup fee. So if I look at what we've got, the expenses again is measuring, is measured by uh, money, the amount of money, so that's going to be the Y. Uh, number of boxes is um, a variable, x. The cost per box this time is 2, that's a constant, so that's 2x. 
and the startup fee they told us was 40. So now I have my two equations. Okay, and then you would put those on your graph. Now this graph here, this point here is starting at zero and zero for the number of boxes, which makes sense. If you sell zero boxes, you can have zero income. But if you also sell zero boxes, there's a startup fee here. So this number here is 40. You put that one on as well, that we know. Okay, and that's our setup so far. Now, you're probably looking and saying, what are the interesting points? We always said it's the X and Y intercept. So here we've got an X and a Y intercept. So at no boxes, like I said, there's no income. But if you're also selling no boxes, the Y intercept that's on this one is 40. Okay, so that's the B value that's 40 when we did straight line graphs. Okay, so now we want to do a little bit of an analysis. So this is quite an important point here. This is an interesting point. So what does that mean is happening here? At this point, the income is equal to the expenses. I'll write it out for you. Okay, so there's no profit. You don't make any money, but you don't lose any money. Now, when we're looking at this part of the graph here, the income is higher than expenses. So what is happening in your business? Stop the video and have a little think. Okay, so then if we look at these points here, vertically, if I pick any point there, what we're finding is the income is greater than expenses. So income is greater than expenses, and that means that you are making a profit. There's more money coming in than going out. But if I look equally over here, I can see at this point, the expenses are greater than the income. And if that's happening in your company, there's more money going out than coming in, that means you're making a loss. This then becomes known as the break even point. Where the income and the expenses are the same. So here you're making a loss in this part of the graph. Here you're making no profit no loss, which is the break-even point, and on this side is where you really want your business to be because you want to be making a profit. Okay, and that's for us looking at it at a graph. So if I move you across a little bit to the next part, where we're sort of summarizing some of this up. So when you're looking at the break-even point, what's important, I'm trying to get the right colors so I match what we did before. We've got the black line there, we've got the blue line there, what you do is you read the break-even point. It's the point of intersection. And you can just read off from the graph what the X value and what the Y value is. So you know how many boxes were sold and you know how much money that is. How do you find the profit and loss by the graph? Well then, what you have to do is look at the distances I'm not drawing that very well. Let's draw that steeper. You look at the point, I'm using the wrong colours, let's try and use the same colours I used before. What you're looking at is you're looking vertically. So you find a point here and here, and that one's going to be profit on hours, and you look in here and here, and you can measure loss. And you can read the differences between the numbers. So you can do that as I did over there on the graph. Now we've also done tables, so what I want you to do now is stop the video, take the X numbers 5, 10, 15, pop them into the equations and work out what these numbers are in the table there and see if you can come up with any conclusions. Okay, so what you should have found is when you were popping the numbers in here, you got 30, 60 and uh, 90 for the income and then for the expenses, I'll just go with another colour. Um, you've got 50, 60, and here you should have got 70. So when we're looking at these, you notice this. The income and the expenses are equal to each other like they are here. So this is the break-even point. Obviously, if these numbers don't point uh, turn up, you might have to change uh, the table settings and... Um, find the numbers where these numbers actually appear that are the same. On this side, you can see that the um, income is less than the expenses, so you're making a loss, which is this part of the diagram that we've talked about already. Here, you can see that the income 
is greater than the expenses, which means you're making a profit, which graphically is this part of the picture because the break-even point is where they're intersecting. So we've looked at it in terms of a graph, we looked at it as a table, now we can look at it as an equation. So what's happening at this point are the numbers are equal, but the variable for this is y, and the variable for this one is y. So the break-even point is when the income y value is equal to the expenses y value. They match. This is where we've got 60. But the income could be expressed as an expression of 6x. And the expenses, which I've spelt wrong, which is really weird, I wrote expense, that's very strange. Expense, C's. Okay, so corrected. And then on this one, we can write this as 2x plus 10. So stop the video and work out what x is going to be. Okay, so you're back. So, your very simple equation to do I minus 2x from both sides. I get, um, what have I done here? 2x plus, oh, it's plus 40, sorry. I've made another error. Lucky I'm paying attention, isn't it? I should have proofread what I'd done before I started. Doesn't matter. 2x plus 40. So, sorry about that. You have to change your numbers. This is for x. This x, 2x. Yeah. And then we just keep going. But you already know. It's at 10 boxes of cards, because we've already done this question. So if you see here, we have got x is 10, which is what we're expecting. And then, if you want to know, 6x then is 6 lots of 10, so we know that's $60. And if we check, uh, and that's the income, if we check the expenses, that's uh, 2 sets of 10 plus 40, which of course is always going to be 6 dollars because that is the break even point that we're looking for and that is part one the next point after this is how to set up the equations to find profits and loss um, you could do it by inspection on looking on the graphs and trying to find the gap which is the profit level or the loss level you're looking for you could do it with tables and then be comparing the numbers from uh, these two columns um, using your graphics calculator to do it and try and find the numbers but we're going to try and get you to set up equations to do it so we don't need to use a table or a graph next time okay so copy all that down make sure you've got it all uh, rewind if you can't see the whole screen and just put it into there so you've got a better view there you seem to have just gone off the table a bit and if you've got any questions please get in touch